Yo, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, we are back with our first new video of 2019. Had a little bit of hiccups at the beginning of the year, but I'll explain those here in just a second. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, guys, I do want to explain why this video is a little bit late to the party. And it's simply because I had my rendering PC go down on me. My processor and my graphics card went down on me. So I've been, the last couple weeks, I've been fixing those and getting everything ready for content creation yet again. I literally just got my stream back up and running not too long ago. So yeah, we've been fixing that those issues and uh, they are back up and running and ready to go. So now we are going to be pumping out videos for the next couple days for you guys. So stay tuned to the channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, let's go ahead and get into everything that we want to talk about today. So this video that I wanted to make it kind of actually like this information is really new nvidia and obs have actually partnered together what that means for content creators is if you have an rtx card which is like the rtx 2080 ti 2080 2070 or even the new brand new 2060 and that's kind of what they're targeting here because that is one of the cards that's more easily accessible due to its price if you have an rtx card if, and you're on a single pc stream those extra cores that usually handle the ray tracing the DLSS, all of the new technologies that NVIDIA is coming out with, can actually handle rendering, which I have stated in previous videos before. So we're going to kind of take a look at NVIDIA's press release here and um, kind of read over it and go over with you guys what all of this jargon means and is it actually going to do anything. So let's check out what NVIDIA has to say. All right, guys, so we went ahead and pulled up NVIDIA's site here, and we're going to just kind of take a look at what they had to say. So as you see here, NVIDIA GeForce Optimized OBS and RTX Encoder. So it's now called an RTX Encoder. So now you have NVENC, you have X264, you also have QuickSync if you have an Intel CPU, and now you have a new encoder called R RTX Encoder. Enables pro quality broadcasting on a single PC. That's a pretty bold claim. Kind of reading through here, I kind of gathered that they're saying the RTX cores are going to be able to take the rendering and the processing of encoding your stream, spitting that back out to Twitch while handling the rest of the gaming on the GPU. It's kind of works in unison with your processor as well, but it takes a lot of the slack off of your processor. So your processor is then able to allocate more resources to, in rendering the game alongside your GPU and provide a much cleaner stream. Because as you guys know, streaming and gaming on the same system, your processor is doing the encoding, and then part of those cores are also handling the game because you're only able to play at 1080p on a, t a single PC stream. The RTX cores are going to take a lot of the slack off of your processor. It's an interesting, interesting thought, and they kind of teased this when RTX first came out. They kind of teased that, hey, RTX isn't just going to be good for ray tracing. It's also going to be good for deep learning. It's going to be good for streamers and encoding. So seeing this come out and seeing them work with open broadcast software or OBS, whichever you guys want to call it, seeing them work with OBS is actually really cool and it excites me because now everybody with a single PC stream will be able to utilize much better resources when they purchase these cards. So it's not all about ray tracing. They're really going after the content creator market here, which I'm pretty excited to see because I just got a 2070 for my rig. So I'm going to kind of test this out when it comes out. I don't think it's 100% rolled out to OBS yet, but let's go ahead and read on. So GeForce RTX GPUs features our dedicated hardware encoder, NVENC, which is an independent section of the GPU used to encode video. This removes the need to encode your CPU, lifting a massive strain from your system, which in turn ensures your GPU isn't bottlenecked, giving you a better game performance. In theory, yes, NVENC or NVENC does that, but my utilization, I've tried it on a GTX 1080, I've tried it on 1080 Ti's, I've tried it on my RTX 2070. NVENC actually hinders the performance of your gaming. So, Let's read on. We have been collaborating with OBS, an industry-leading streaming application, to help them release a new version with improved support for NVIDIA GPUs. Scheduled to debut at the end of January, the new OBS will reduce FPS impact of streaming by up to 66% compared to the current shipping version. So they have actually developed a new codec 
that will is better than NVENC and supposedly better than X264 on a single PC rig. This is this is all really interesting. So they have some graphs here. And as you can see, X264 fast on a single PC stream with a GPU. CPU utilization 59%. It says measured with OBS at 1080p 60 FPS, 6K bitrate on an RTX 2080 Ti, Intel 8700K, run with games Fortnite, Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, and Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Using an 8700K. Interesting. Okay, so X264 fast is using 59% of your CPU power. Okay, so if you go very fast, then it drops down to 34%. With NVIDIA, old OBS, you're looking, that's NVENC, 2.3%, and then NVIDIA new OBS, there's a 66% improvement with the RTX encoding option. Okay, so that's very interesting. This means higher FPS games, blah, 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 whatever, so on and so forth. GeForce RTX GPUs are up to 15% more efficient, 15% more efficient all around than previous generation Pascal GPUs when streaming with H.264, thanks to architectural improvements to the dedicated hardware encoder NVENC. For you as a streamer, this means that GeForce RTX GPUs can stream with superior image quality compared to X.264 fast and on par with X.264 medium. I doubt it. I'm just throwing it out there. I somehow highly doubt this. I stream on low on my dedicated stream rig and it looks better than majority of anything out there. Granted, they're saying medium here, but I will need to test this very thoroughly to see their claims here. And granted, you gotta remember, they're doing this with 1080p 60fps streams. There's something that tells me this isn't gonna work. Well, let's see, let's see here. So at 3500 bit rate, I'm guessing, yeah, bit rate here. Nvidia RTX is saying it's better. So we got X264 fast, which is the gray, NVIDIA GTX, which is the green over here. So, of course, that's not that great. X264 has always been better than NVIDIA NC. You guys know this from numerous amounts of testing that everybody has done. But apparently, RTX on a single PC stream is saying, hey, this is actually better than X264 on a single PC stream. Very well could be, because let me break this down for a second before we get into any more into this graph. RTX, the cores, the tensor cores, and all of the new technology that they threw into the card is actually very good at rendering. We've seen this in uh, Adobe, we've seen this in Blender, we've seen any type of creative process that you guys can think. We've actually seen the RTX cores can actually help with rendering and actually increase those speeds quite astronomically. Like, it is a very good card for content creation. So to see them utilizing this as kind of like a separate processor for encoding a stream is pretty cool, but I will have to try it out and just see how well it actually works. Let's read on here to this graph. So at 4,500 bit rate, you've got the RTX again winning a little bit. I mean, it's not by much. You see X264 fast there, really keeping pace with it at 45. 6,000, still keeping pace right here. RTX is barely winning. Okay, so they went up to 8,000 just for the heck of it. The dual PC stream is over here at medium bitrate. So you're seeing that the, still the medium bitrate is better, but on a single PC stream at 8,000 bitrate, RTX is winning. And this is all NVIDIA stuff. This is not tested by any third party. So kind of take this with, if you will, a grain of salt. But I'm gonna say that the RTX card is gonna be pretty great. For, um, and if OBS is working with them, you know OBS is going to implement this pretty well. Uh, everything that OBS kind of does is pretty top, top tier, so I'm pretty excited about it. They have other examples here, CPU encoding, blah, 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 versus NVIDIA RTX encoding. Um, they say the text and the actual character models kind of get produced a little bit better um, on fast and NVIDIA RTX. Your weapons and stuff, when it goes back out to Twitch, is going to look better, so on and so forth. So now it's saying that Twitch recommends streamers use at least 6 megabits per second to stream 1080p 60. That's 6,000 kilobits per second for those of, you, those of you that don't know the conversion rates. But if your internet connection doesn't let you stream that fast GeForce RTX improvements efficiently will noticeably improve image quality at a reduced bitrate where image quality is already strained. Just remember to adjust your output 720p 60, 720p 30, so on and so forth. 
but they're also claiming that it actually provides a better, smoother frame rate at lower resolutions. Another interesting feat that NVIDIA has supposedly done. So in GT GeForce RTX, best choice for streaming. That's where, that's where you get me. That's where you get me, NVIDIA. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to put this thing through the test. I'm going to download uh, OBS again. And once at the end of January, once all of this is rolled out, I'll personally test to see if these RTX cards actually make the claim of being a better single PC streaming source. So that means you're going to still need a 6-core 12-threaded processor. That still means you're going to need at least 16 to 32 gigabits, gigabytes of RAM. But if you're able to get an NVIDIA RTX 2060 that has those RTX cores, 2070, and those prices are starting to come down because the rest of the market is kind of evening out, even though we have the tariff and all of that fun stuff, an RTX card is still being coming a little bit more attainable. Now, and there is also a rumor that NVIDIA is going to have another set of cards coming out very soon. And we also have AMD's new Navi and the new Radeon 7 card that's come out that's already said this is a great card for content creators. So it seems like graphics card manufacturers are really going after us streamers this year because we are becoming a bulk of the graphics card industry now. It's not just gamers anymore. We are also being targeted as content creators and influencers. So to see them pushing this out, working with OBS, it excites me for 2019 to really see what else is going to come down the pipeline. And if this increases our content creation platform and increases our production value with a single PC stream, who knows, maybe dual streaming PCs will become a thing of the past. But right now, as it stands, dual streaming PCs are the way to go. And I'm very curious to see what NVIDIA has up their sleeve with this new encoding preset. But you guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys think this is going to work, if it's not going to work, you name it. Just let's have a little discussion about it. If you guys want to follow me or True Gaming on any of our social media, be sure to check out all of those links in the description below. I would super appreciate it. And like I said earlier, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we can have more awesome videos like this hit the channel. But guys, that about wraps it up for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Be, stay tuned to the channel. White Shadow out. Thank <laughs> you.